In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to search by coordinates on Google Maps app. So this is specifically for the phone version or the iPad version, essentially the app version. Now it's very, very easy to do. Just make sure you pay close attention to ensure you get it all correct. So by default, what you need to go ahead and do is you just need to open up the Google Maps app here like I've gone ahead and done. And to adding coordinates is very, very simple. You just want to go ahead and paste them into the bar that says search here. Now, there's a few different types of coordinates that you can go ahead and do, but I'll sort of show you how you can go ahead and grab them. So let's say that I want to uh, find the coordinates of this location. You're going to see here that in the brackets, you've got two different numbers. So this one has 51.07, etc., comma, minus 0 0.044. This here is the coordinates for this specific location. I can actually go ahead and copy this and I can go ahead and put this into the map and that's going to allow me to search it. So if I go down here, I can simply tap it into the search bar at the top and paste it and that should go ahead and allow me to search it. So just like this, you can see I've put the coordinates in there. I can press search and it's taken us to that exact location there. Now this is super useful for giving you the exact location of something. Maybe you are trying to go somewhere in a field, for example, or just somewhere that's not on a road. You need a direct pinpoint for it. This is very, very useful. Now what you can also go ahead and do is you can send this to other people. Uh, if you see here, there's a little box icon with an up arrow sticking out of it. This allows you to go ahead and send those coordinates to other people. As I said, there's three different types of coordinates you can go ahead and use um, and you can paste them in there. And if they show you a location, then you know that they're working. But it's really as simple as that to go ahead and do. If you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.